Good morning everyone, we're back with another video. So the reviews for Drake's new album are still coming in. I actually had a chance to listen to it yesterday. I have to admit, it's not my full cup of tea, but everything isn't for everybody. But I definitely found his first video that he released from the album to be interesting. It was just this week that the episode where Tristan announced that he had another baby on Chloe was released. So it's for him to be the front man in this video, the timing is impeccably perfect. Drake had something to say about people that were confused by the sound of his new album. And he also got a co-sign from J. Cole. But I think the point here is that Drake is going to be Drake. And regardless of what one or two people might say on Twitter, he's going to sell because there's going to be someone somewhere that loves this sound. I really wanted something fun. Something for the summertime, something for the girls to, you know, get ready and party to. Fresh out of jail, DDG announced that he was having a celebrity boxing match with PMB Rock. Usually I don't get into the celebrity boxing matches. I don't get the point of it. But someone must be buying the tickets because they keep having them. The polls. I know what y'all picked about the polls. But when the queen speaks, the queen speaks. And that's all I'm going to say. And that's all that matters to me. Chloe dropped the video for the song that she announced would be dropping this week. It's a change of pace from Have Mercy and Treat Me. It's very slow and sensual, but it still has a groove to it. I like it. Chloe to her. Fans are noticing that Summer Walker looks a little bit different. I can admit I see it, but I think it might be just the makeup. This tweet right here caused a lot of publicity for Big Sean and Janae yesterday. Do I personally believe it? Yes. But do I think after everything that they've been through, they should have opportunity to announce it themselves? Absolutely yes. But if they are, big congratulations to them. I know they had some problems conceiving in the past and I can't wait to, until they can give out an official announcement. <laughs> Yesterday, the last Wendy Williams episode ever aired on television. It's weird because they did not include Wendy on the last episode and a lot of people had things to say about that. I mean, usually TV hosts that have been on TV for more than a decade get a full send off and Wendy didn't get hers, but a statement was put out as to why. I think whether you loved her or hated her, she was a staple on TV and we're all going to miss seeing her. And before we go, I just want to wish a happy birthday to Kendrick Lamar, who dropped his number one album last month. And that's it, guys. See you tomorrow.